is the most profound technology that I think we're working on today. And it is not just a profound technology for technology, but also has a huge opportunity for the UK. You cited the 400 billion uh, pound figure. That's the economic impact we think this can have by 2030. So actually growing the economy each year by 2.6%, uh, which is a huge improvement in terms of the growth trajectory that the country is currently on. For that to happen, though, the UK will need to invest more in research and development, invest more in skills. I mean, these are unfortunately things where the UK lags a lot of its peer economies. We do think that R&D investment will be key. I think skills investment is also going to be critical. Uh, we actually just trained our one millionth uh, learner in the UK around digital skills. And I think making sure everyone can participate in the advent of not just AI, but the overall digital skills uh, transformation is going to be critical to unrealize, uh, realizing this opportunity. Now, you also note that uh, the UK re will require more in, in computing power, as it were. Why do we lag other economies in this respect right now? Well, I think computing power are actually quite strong, and I think we need to continue our investment in this area. I think it is, a, a, AI certainly from a technical standpoint requires a lot of compute power, so we'll need to remain rigorous in terms of our investment there. But why is the UK behind some of its peers? Currently, actually, the UK is in a pretty good spot in terms of our compute capacity, and I think the question is, can we keep pace and continue investing at that level? It's going to be critical for us to continue to have a leadership position in AI. There's a big debate as to whether AI is going to create or destroy jobs. Are we framing the question in the right way? I think jobs is a really important topic for us to be talking about. I do think there will be some jobs that are fundamentally transformed, and the majority of jobs will fundamentally change in terms of how they use AI in, their, in the work that they do every day. Personally, I'm using um, kind of autocorrect and all the techniques in Gmail to be faster and more productive in the work I do every single day. There will be jobs that are lost, but I think the bigger opportunity will be the next generation jobs that are created. And that's why we're so focused on the skills agenda, making sure everyone has the skills they need to succeed in this new wave of uh, technologically abled growth. Obviously, though, AI is going to render some tasks and some jobs obsolete. I mean, what, what sort of things should my kids be studying at school right now? What sort of careers should they be looking at if they're not going to get swept away by this technology? Well, I think it's actually getting that balance right between having that kind of well-rounded education that helps you understand the, the possibility of technology, but the application to whatever you're passionate about. I think AI is fundamentally going to transform everything that we're working on today and make our lives better. Um, and I think those that know how to use those tools, the AI-driven tools for innovation and creativity are really going to be the ones that are going to succeed in the future. What sort of things are you looking for in Google UK and Ireland now as regards new recruits? Oh, well, we're always looking for, for great talent at Google, um, and I, we are fortunate to be a great employer here. We have actually 6,500 folks uh, based in the UK across a variety of, of areas. So we have 50% of our staff are actually in technical roles, so product and engineering, and 50% of our staff are in sales and marketing, general administrative kind of roles. So there's a huge uh, uh, range of career options at Google here in the UK. I mean, that's what really interests me about your career, because you started out as a banker at Goldman Sachs. You've set up your own business. You've worked at the likes of Viacom and Unilever. I mean, yours is not what you might call a traditional tech background. Uh, well, thank you for studying up on my background. That is true. I've had a diversity of experiences. I actually think diverse experiences make for an interesting career. Um, and I think I've learned different things from each of those experiences that make me a better professional today. So certainly I would encourage your kids as they're thinking of setting out on their journeys to be less focused on the specific job, but more about the set of skills that they want to assemble from different experiences they might have. Why do you think people are sceptical, though, about the transformative potential of AI? I mean, for example, Jeffrey Hinton, sometimes called the godfather of AI, I mean, he's just left a senior role at Google. Yes, I, I think that AI, because it is such a profound technology, I think the opportunity for it to be incredibly powerful in solving some of society's biggest problems, climate change, health, um, it, you know, we just launched a tool that it helps you anticipate floods and the impact that can have in, in communities around the world. That's incredible. At the same time, we know that powerful technology, we need to be really responsible about how it's deployed. So at Google, we take this balanced approach to being both bold and responsible at the same time. Uh, we launched AI principles. Please many join years the conversation. Ago that govern the way we are. Put your comments and AI. suggestions We're really below in the comments section. Measured, measured, cautious way. Thank you sure for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any that breaking see, news and um, new so posts as you become part and parcel of the, the TAO time, Media family. Way. Please like and share TAO Media.
We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.